Good morning, students. Today, I want to talk about the work done by a variable force. Okay, and what this means is just a, a force that isn't constant. And to do so, it's not going to be very difficult, especially on uh, our level, the AP level, or the high school level, where we don't necessarily need uh, calculus. But we're essentially going to do this by using a F versus X graph. Okay, so let me just show you how we're going to do that real quick. First, let's talk. Let's just look at first um, a constant force. All right. So if we could use this graph, if I had a graph that looked like this, and we'll say that this is F over here in newtons, and this is the displacement over here in meters. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I said that there is a force, okay, was applied to a box over this amount of time, and I can ask, what is the work done on the box? Now, because this is very easy, and we know that work is equal to F times X, I can say, well, at every single moment on this graph, the force is constant, okay? It was six Newtons and it did that over six meters. Therefore, the work done was 36 joules, okay? So that's like the mathematical way that we solve when the work is constant. But one thing we never really talked about, which we could do, is we could find the area under this curve. Even though it's a straight line, we still call it a curve, right? And the way we're gonna do that is when we find area, it's just gonna be base times height in this situation. So the base was six meters, the height was six newtons, therefore the area told us that the work done was 36 joules, okay? Super easy when we have a nice constant velocity. Well, what happens when that force varies a little bit and we have F of newtons again and we have X in meters, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. We come out here to point six, six. Connect this line here. Now the force is varied. So the way we're going to do this is we are once again, we are going to find the area under this curve, which we know is just a triangle. Let's say that that came right to the six, not drawn to scale, okay? So now we know the area under the curve is one half base times height, right? The area of a triangle. So one half six times six equals 18 joules. And that's really it. If we had a curve, like this was actually a curve that went like this, we'd need a little bit of calculus to do so. But guys, as far as the AP level, high school level, things like that, if you want to find the work of a variable force, a force that varies over time, you are going to graph the force divided by X, and then you are going to take the area under the curve. That's all you need to do. All right, guys, have a good day.